info is running. It's at the top, right below the LSMod uh, one right there. So now we have registered the TuneCo module. So let me pull this back up to the top. So that's the importance there. That has to be running for VPN to work. If your VPN is not working, there's a chance that that's not running. Or you may have a credentials issue or uh, an open VPN config file problem or something along those lines. But this is one of the first things you want to check. Uh, now that we've discussed the INS mod, um, I'll let you get caught up and we will go to the next step shortly. Okay, now hopefully you've successfully registered your module. We can go back to the phone and set up our open VPN for users that will be using the application. Uh, press, uh, unlock your phone first, and press applications and open open VPN installer. You should see binary not installed. Uh, go ahead and press the install button say install on the prompt. Our target directory is going to be the system.xbin file. I uh, apologize, I know you can't see it. Obviously it's on the top. From here, uh, we now need to pick the ifconfig and route locations. We place those in the top one as well, which is forward slash system, forward slash xbin, forward slash bb. So choose that one. Allow when super user prompts you. Allow again on the second prompt. Now our binary has been installed. Say exit. Now we need to open our OpenVPN settings. These settings are designed to launch an INS mod for the TuneCo automatically. I've seen some phones do it, some phones don't. That's what we talked about earlier. So go ahead and check OpenVPN. Make sure that's checked. Click the settings button. Click advanced. Check the box for load TuneCo module. Click the next Tune Module Settings button. Click load module using Change it to INS mod. Mod probe is not available on these phones. Path to TuneCo module. We need to set this up to point at where it's actually at. Ours is at forward slash system forward slash xbin. Apologize if you can't see this. Forward slash Android 21 tune.co. That's the completion of that. I'm I just can't see it on that the white screen there, but say okay for that. We'll go back. Everything else is correct already. It's already found the open VPN file, so that all looks good. You can choose if you want to show ads or not. Um, we're going to go back home. At this time, uh, we will show you the VPN connections application. This is where you're actually going to be connecting. We're connecting to an ASA 5510. Click Applications, VPN Connections, and click Allow for Super User. This launches the VPN Connections application. We're going to allow you to get caught up at this time, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, within the VPN application uh, for VPN Connections, uh, we want to check the box that says VPN Enabled up top. Then we want to click Add a Network, and we're going to set up all of our info in here. Connection name can be whatever you want. It's how you distinguish different connections. The gateway address is going to be your VPN um, host name. Uh, if you, so obviously it's the, it's the name that you would type in for the gateway. Um, the IPsec ID is the group name. IPsec secret is the password. You know, it just uses those analogies. Username, uh, I do not have to prefix with the, the domain. So say my domain was MSN. I did not have to type in MSN backslash uh, my name. So basically you would just put only your username and only your password. Don't worry about the timeout. Do not check the box for password plus token digits unless you're well aware you need that. Once you've set it all up you can click add and then you can hold down the network and say connect. It should connect. If it doesn't you've got um, an issue with your credentials or some type of VPN security going on. Uh, like I said, things to check are obviously the uh, lsmod command to ensure the TuneCo module is working correctly. So obviously when we type in lsmod, we see the Tune uh, module has been loaded. So, uh, the only other thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, process of automating the uh, insmod command. Obviously when you reboot this phone, it's going to not load the TuneCo module. I'm developing a solution that will automatically boot that for you, but until now, I recommend installing two applications. This is my personal phone. 
uh, I run two applications nonstop, Terminal Emulator and Gscript Lite. Terminal Emulator is a great way to view your phone as a terminal. So if I type in LSMod on this phone, we can see the TuneCo module isn't running. I'm sure you can't see that, but it's not running. I've got Gscript Lite running though, which is a quick click to launch shell scripts. I've got a, a script made that simply changes the directory to system slash xbin and then does insmod tuneco for the file name. Click it, it runs it, go right back in. I'm going to go ahead and kill it, make sure terminal emulator stops. Back in a terminal emulator and lsmod now returns tuneco running. So it's literally a couple seconds to automate the process. So, that is how you configure VPN for your Samsung Captivate to connect to Cisco ASA appliances and pretty much any Cisco appliance that runs true IP6 VPN connectivity. This will allow you to connect to your network, use remote desktop applications, and pretty much do anything you can do from within inside your network using your phone. As always, if you appreciate these videos and I truly helped you out, please consider donating. Uh, I enjoy making these videos, but they do take... Uh, you know, a lot of time and uh, donations are always accepted. Um, until next time, stay tuned uh, for the next segment from Mobile Tech Videos. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate the developers at xtadevelopers.com. And feel free to leave comments on the thread at xtadevelopers or on this YouTube video. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.